Lyme disease prophylaxis after tick bite. Alan, a 53-year-old man, visits his primary care provider after a tick bite. Three days ago, he spent an afternoon hiking near his home in New Jersey. This morning, Alan discovered a tick while in the shower. The tick remains attached to his stomach near his belt line. No rash is present, he has no other symptoms, and his vital signs are normal. After removing the tick, Alan's provider considers his risk for tick-borne diseases. Given that Lyme disease is common in New Jersey, she wonders if Alan needs post-exposure prophylaxis, or PEP. There are five questions to consider when assessing whether a patient with a tick bite might benefit from Lyme disease PEP. Question one, where the tick bite occurred, are ticks likely to be infected with Borrelia burgdorferi? When a tick bite occurs in a state or county where Lyme disease is common, PEP might be beneficial. If Lyme disease is not common in your area, ask your patient if they have recently traveled to an area where Lyme disease is common. Question two, was the tick removed within the last 72 hours? The Lyme disease incubation period is at least three days, so post-exposure prophylaxis is most effective within the 72-hour window after tick removal. Question three, was the tick's body flat or was it engorged with blood? For transmission of Borrelia burgdorferi to occur, a tick typically needs to be attached for at least 24 hours. Risk increases with longer attachment time. If the tick is engorged with blood, the risk of Lyme disease is higher and PEP should be considered. A flat or unfed tick is unlikely to have transmitted the pathogen that causes Lyme disease. Question four, was the tick an Ixodes black-legged tick? In the United States, the only ticks that transmit the bacteria that cause Lyme disease are the small teardrop-shaped Ixodes ticks. PEP to prevent Lyme disease is not helpful after the bite of other ticks, such as the Lone Star tick and the American dog tick, which also commonly bite people. Tick identification can be challenging, and often, the tick is not available when a patient presents for care. This step is helpful, but not essential. You can still consider PEP without identifying the tick. Question five, is doxycycline safe for the patient? A single dose of doxycycline has been shown to reduce the frequency of Lyme disease after a high-risk tick bite and is safe for people of all ages, including young children. Before recommending doxycycline prophylaxis, make sure that it is a safe medication for your patient. Considerations include allergy to doxycycline, pregnancy, and lactation. Alan's doctor determines he is a good candidate for PEP. She prescribes a single dose of doxycycline and instructs him to take the antibiotic with water. Whether you prescribe PEP or not, advise any patient who presents with a known or suspected tick bite to watch for symptoms such as fever, rash, and malaise. If they see such symptoms, they should seek healthcare immediately. This is also an opportunity to talk about tick bite prevention, including regular use of insect repellent. Learn more about Lyme disease while earning free continuing education credits. Visit www.cdc.gov slash Lyme slash healthcare.